Hey YouTube, Brad C here. If you watched one of my recent auction hauls, you saw me pick up three guns. And this was one of them. And I'm just going to do a quick little review on this gun. Just for anybody that might not be familiar with these savages. Okay, let's start by safety checking the weapon. I'm going to remove the magazine. And, and we're all clear. This is a Savage 300 Win Mag. And this is the Trophy Hunter version. They've got a long range hunter version and it's uh, it's actually worth a lot more money. These are still really nice guns if, for the price if you're looking to do some long range shooting, even some, uh, even some competitive shooting. So let's talk a little bit about it. We'll start back here at the back. It comes with a really squishy butt plate. This is not a rifle you'd want a, a steel butt plate on here. Now if I was keeping this gun, I'd probably remove some of this stuff, like this strap. I'd take that off. I personally would put a bipod on this. And they've got a little mossy oak shell holder on here. It holds nine. I was a little bit afraid when I bought this gun that there would be some scratches underneath of here. But there weren't. We weren't allowed to pick up the guns and inspect them at the auction. I really didn't like that. I at least wanted to check the... You know, the bore, make sure it's clean, check the action on these things. I mean, it doesn't make any sense not to be able to touch a gun before you buy it. But for $250, I'm not going to argue around. That's a pretty good price on this gun. Hey, if you're familiar with it, it comes with a detachable magazine here. Holds three. And, of course, it's bolt action. I believe that's a, a jewel bolt. That's a really pretty shine on that. I do like the bolt on that. I like the texturing on the bolt there. I don't know if you can see it, but it just gives you a real nice grip on that knob. And to break this gun down, you're just going to need an Allen wrench. And I believe there's just three. There's one, two, three. And it's got a nice little mount system. Some of these come with scope, but this one actually had a Leopold scope on it. And I know those don't come standard. So I took that Leopold off there, and I'm going to sell this separate as Leopolds are worth way too much money to be slapping on this gun. I should say, way too much money to be slapping on this gun if I'm going to sell it. If I was going to keep it, yeah, that's fine. If you've ever sold guns, you'll you'll learn when you've got expensive pieces of equipment, it's much better to sell them separately. You, you try to package it and you think you sell it for more, but it, it never works out that way. There's people out there just looking for a certain model of gun and they'll pretty much dress it up however they want. So whatever they pay for it, they're probably not going to pay any more for some high dollar scope you got on there. But it's a Leopold, they might find the right person. A barrel nut on these is always a signature piece on a Savage. You can always tell just by looking at it. Some of the newer models, you'll see they actually smooth those out. I like the safety on these. It's a, it's a real nice snug safety. And of course if you don't know this, red you're dead. So let me show you some of the workings of this gun. I can see it actually on camera. I can see the red mark for, um, you know, like I say, red you're dead. I'm going to put this gun on safety and just show you something. This bolt locks. So when this gun's on safety, it locks. Now that's, that's standard for a lot of guns. And of course once you release the safety, it'll pop right up. If I was really going to keep this gun, I'd spend some time cleaning it up. And a lot of times what I'll do, if I get a gun that I'm planning on selling, I will I'll clean it up decent. When I actually sell the gun, I'll actually take it apart, clean it, make sure the whole thing is slick. So when that guy pulls that thing back, it is slick as glass. If you've got a Mosin in the gun, you know, when you, you pull this up, and it, it automatically just kicks back at you. Now, that's not the way this works. So the bolt's going to get a little bit, you're going to have to get used to working the bolt. That ain't, that's no big deal. Get a little trigger pull test here, see how it feels. Oh boy, that's nice. Nice and crisp, no creak to it. Felt really good. I'd estimate it's about, about two pound trigger pull. Now I'm just going to make a short video that shows people how to remove this bolt. Because I've had a lot of people say, how do you remove the bolt on that? And it's a little bit tricky. But here we here goes. Now if your magazine's empty, you got three holes in the back and the rear, and in the front there's a little lip. That lip always goes in the front because that's what's going to catch up here. So it goes in like that. Now if you accidentally try to put it in the wrong way, it's no big deal. It's not even going to work. See, I'll put it in there. It, it won't. It won't close. It won't go down. So you just have to take it back out and put it in the right way. Now the action on this is pretty slick. I mean, it feels pretty good.
Now if I decide not to sell this, I may put that Leopold back on here and take this gun out to the range and just see what it'll do. I'll put a link down below to the auction hall. I actually had three guns in that hall and had several other items he might be interested in. An old antique camp stove and just several things. And if you're interested in the art of buying and selling, I've got a video called Haggling 101 Yard Sale Strategies. I'll put a link to it down there too. A lot of people like that video. And you can check out all my stuff at bradctv.com.